we got the two and one all time trailblazers versus the two and one all time jazz. You see, we switched Pete Maravich and John Stockton, uh, point guard to shooting guard, shooting guard to point guard, respectively. And then they got Bill Colabali, whatever his name is, coming, uh, giving them some outside help. Um, and then you still got Andre Karolinko, and you still got Carl Malone as your bigs. Uh, maybe a little undersized, but Carl's got a lot of power uh, to compete with with a lot of these big men. You know, meanwhile, for the Blazers, <laughs> they were kind of undersized. They switched their lineup, drafting Dante Lawrence this year. You know, gives them the ability to put Clyde back at the three. Then you got Sensiball at the two, Damian Lillard at the one, and you got Bill Walton at the center. And then off the bench, they're even deep with George Petrie and and all the people they got off the bench, you know? <laughs> um, so, I mean, yeah, Trailblazers this year definitely have their best lineup so far and still have so much improvement. Like, their franchise, they're, they're like, like, they're the way they're expecting these younger players to develop, they're only looking up. They might not even make the playoffs this year, but they're still happy with how things are going in the direction that their franchise is, is going year after year from the bottom in the West to now kind of middle of the pack and they're only getting better. We meanwhile the Jazz, you know, they've just kind of been stagnant, staying at the middle of the pack. They're looking to to make the change with Pete and John this year and and hopefully that actually does make a change. Um so who's going to win this one? I don't know. If Pete and John can I say this all the time. It's the and Pete and John can be on the same page. This Jazz Monday team is scary. This is Kevin right? They win the tip off here. I mean, look at that. Pete. Mm. I think what it is, Pete, he's looking to shoot. Pete's a high usage guy. He's the ball in his hands to do well. He was a bit of a defensive liability at the two. He was mm. all alone on that one. And an eye for an eye. At the one, he's walking to stretch the you know, he's, he's like kind of long enough he can make up for one team his lack three, of. Three of your own. Oh. Ooh. And again, it's the jazz from uh, lateral quickness. You know. One of the most and then, of course, he's always looking to make his shot. The game and finding and putting the ball in his hands, he doesn't feel like he has to shoot every time he touches the ball. Now he gets Walton to on Stockton, dribble. He has to make people miss. And, yeah, ooh. To pick up right away. Oh, in the first quarter. they still get to go. Well, that's okay. not how you screen for your guys, but ultimately, they still found a way to come away with the hoop. Portland shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. You know, what makes hmm. Walton special isn't just his physical gifts, and there are many of those. It's how well and then John he uses those to, gifts. And John Stockton gets to be, you know, gets to pass for angles, and now you get to be the switch up, back. right? Where John Stockton gets to drive, take it to Malone, and... and that'll be yeah, I, think, I think this team is. And, and John Stockton was, you know, he's 6'1. A defensive play like he's that solid enough to the defender to go a long way. Two establishes an attitude that you want to have during the game. Like Pete Maravich basically was. And now, just over a minute. Oh, oh, oh sensible, though. Last year did not have a great rookie direction. season. This one for three. This year, oh, the foul. Almost hit the three you know, he made the same. He was looking to turn around. Still made the starting line. Nice little move that time, baiting the defender in Each tight, so. then drawing the foul. He's got to be doing something right. He hits the second from the line. Now he gets to. I guess he's gonna shoot for three here. Let's see who's fouled. From D. Hey, that's a win for the Jazz, man. Get, get him to miss one. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jams. Chirilinka with the screen for Stockton. Oh, oh, <laughs> Stockton got him jumping. But he knows he's got a three-second clock there, and he's covered by Stockton. He couldn't really get much to to go. To the left no one was really doing anything. Screen on oh, wow. Good to see yeah, trying to take that up over the trees. The <laughs> team appreciates that type Kirilenko of and, and Malone both there to send that back. Reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. 
I mean, look at the passing Pete. Like, the creativity that Pete gives you. And look, bam. Bam. The movement he gives you offense. You know, I think, I think this team is better when the ball is in his hands. Moving on the point just feels more natural. Oh. And he's not a total liability at the one. He's not getting completely thrown by. It's enough that Malone can actually play help D. And then look, bam. And the Jazz, another three. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a much more efficient, man, in terms of leading. Very rich and Saka can be efficient together. This team is dead. Oh, oh, way to stick in there, though. Oh, Drexler. Makes it look effortless, but I love he does that, have to get that hustle. Inside to beat that contact. The pass to Malone. Over Walton. Oh, no, that's not going to go. Shot is Bill Walton's no slouch. Right wing. Shot from oh, 16. Here's their rookie. No good that time. Dante so Lawrence gives him a, another big man. But more than just... You know, having a big man. Ooh. Takes the Dante Lawrence is arguably yeah, you know, say one of the better picks in this draft. I mean, Trailblazers were able to get him at four. That's probably his true value. Um, you know, maybe four or three. Uh, you know, so expect him to, to do great things. Hopefully he can stay injury free. Have a nice long career for them. To the paint. Here's oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Already the rookie making an impact with a fantastic block. But good on the Jazz. Is here. Broken play. Jazz also looking good on drafting uh, Sean Simmons, who, um, the, you know, they were the third pick. The Trailblazers were the fourth pick. <laughs> so, for you know, he seems to be bottom of the league last season. And, he stays and now they're it. both, Down it goes. you know, His third two and one. Now three for it's a good time for both teams. So for the Jazz, their last game, a win against the Warriors in San Francisco. Utah calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players both to get teams rehydrated. Tied up 17, 17. For the first time to Jazz is going to take a timeout. A basketball still to be played here. Because while it, it is tied, I mean, they've, point without they've made the best of luck on some uh, run out of gas. some broken Down plays. Of a game. And that's something they got to kind of clean it up. Stockton with a... Oh... This is a good foul by the rookie Lawrence. I don't like that he has that. We're with all that know that he's talking about the score from him. Feeds it to Malone. Oh, oh. Malone over oh, this two is people. Bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really good. He's stone cold this boy. Man. Lillard out shot. From Malone. You gotta work on passing that out. Pass it back out. Lillard's got five men. Just focusing on the task and hands. This is some That's all we can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Lillard uh, fighting over the screen because he knows. He's got Maravich is scorching himself. Maravich is going to say, okay, you're going to fight over? To start, I think I'll drive it when he's in the zone. Yeah, I think they've got to yeah, he's five for five. a few different start. looks his way early on. Especially if he keeps shooting like he's, this. He's definitely Drexler much better with the ball in his hand. I think when he's better, the team's Drexler. better. Shot clock at five. Over in the corner, Lillard. Misses oh. the three. Well it's defended there. Yeah. 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 And he's going to shoot wide open three. look from beyond the yard. Someone who stops the ball. Malone makes great decisions when he passes. Walton is screwed on Maravich. Oh, Malone getting out there to, to defend. And Lillard, no one was... In to get the rebound. Bill Walton is going to eat there. But you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Now, here's Stockton. Still getting warmed up. So far, no scoring yet from him. I think Dante Lawrence's presence is being felt. I mean, Bill Walton passes it to Lawrence. Has been able to successfully defend and and fires for three. Has been able to. He's been under much less stress with Dante Lawrence there. Right now, he's the reason 
Over in the corner, Kirilenko you know, on the wing. This is a tie game. He's taking things over. Marovich is such a great scorer. All eyes are on him. His eyes are on his teammates. A tremendous Good hoop there, right over the wall. And that's how I was praising And to Lillard. Here's oh, wow. Three. <laughs> the Maravich. Lillard's got his third basket of the night right there. He was he just on skates. Continues. And guys, that's lucky. <laughs> that's that nice little step up from Damian Lillard. So he goes right on by him. And he's behind him. Now we see some guys coming in. Oh! And the ball control Williams. is incredible. Superb at creating shots for himself. Gives him a ton of athleticism. And on the AT and T from the point, then they got Griffith. You can see they got Adrian Danley. Offensive rebound. Well, they got the, the call, rookie Simmons. The and Gordon Hayward as well. Getting right to the rim. At least they save the layup. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layup. Meanwhile, for the Trailblazers, you got you Sabonis coming there. in. Sabonis, Bill Walton's going to move the four. The now here's Williams. Oh. Yeah. Petrie. Williams has got five. And then you also got, I think, Barry Carroll. Barry Carroll. Williams makes decisions. He is laying off of him. He makes them pay with that pull-up J. Here's mm. Drexler. And Drexler's still going to be in there as well. And look at him. He gets the bucket. Strong for him to eat. Here early. Four of his first five made. Williams. He seems going four. back and forth. Pass to Hayward. Oh, Gordon Hayward. Wow, I actually got that to go. Bill Walton was all over that. They still got that to go. Here's Petrie. He's been quiet so far. Still no Petrie doesn't even need the screen. He doesn't even need the screen. He's going to find his way to the rack. They've got here in the first half. I will say and this about Simmons the Trailblazers. The they, they have a nice outside presence when they're starting fives on the floor. Here's when their bitches on the floor, though, it's all about the drive and kick. He's off on that one. Nice so it's, you know, two different Sabonis. looks. And it's they kind of prosper in just about any situation. They trail by one. Jazz, on Here's the other one. hand, I mean, they're... The shot from the low post is good. Yeah. He's got go playing. He talked about a back and forth game. Kind of small this playing kind of it. You have to love Man, these man. kinds of games. Scoring wise. Could be a different look for them here. On their toes. Now here's Johnson was so much needed. points in the game. Let's see if he can make an impact. Outside for Simmons. From deep. And Utah, Ooh. And that's why you get yourself a big man that can stretch the floor. He's gonna be something for them, man. Got to do a better job uh, Carl Malone, as he's getting up there in age. Ooh. Sean Simmons is gonna be really good for this jazz Outside Simmons. I'm gonna try to talk a little less. Williams passes to Dantley. There's some sort. Oh, 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 but he sticks with it. Simmons, I don't know why he didn't take the shot there. Oh wow, he's got Bill Walton jumping. And it's good assisting on the play with wow. Simmons. Hayward's got five. Oh, points play, so you know, he may not be the biggest, most physical guy. You told but Hayward jazz, can score inside with the rest of him because he's him. strong enough. Even off the bench. And, he's really oh, and Walton throws it down. Plays, doesn't really matter. They stick with distribution it. there. I mean, what they find a way to get a pass in the middle. Danley, the best. Only they can up on defense, you know. 14 left here in the first quarter. Oh, oh, rebound oh. Sabonis able to defend that. Six rebounds in the game. And there's the call on Gordon Hayward. Oh, Gordon Hayward. That's foul. his first foul for the Trailblazers. Well, Marcus Aldridge, he's checking for Walton. And Jerome Kirsten well, subbed in for Clyde Drexler. Drexler coming out for Percy and Aldridge. 104 left in the first quarter of the game. Here's the pass to Petrie. So near full Aldridge bench was, was keeping up with right a couple bank. of the starters. And again, it's Portland with the three. You gotta feel good if you're the Utah you Jazz team. Admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness. Yeah, so you know what? Defense. In Williams defense is travels when well, they haven't. <laughs> and Simmons kicks to Hayward. They haven't been defending. And again, Ooh. it's the Jazz from deep. This is why Hayward makes the big bucks, folks. 
so it's like, about making shots. It's about making shots. We know their offense the is going to Aldridge with a screen on Williams. Oh, what a great cut. Hayward was a nice D. Nice little crossover on the screen. Couldn't make a pay though. Advantage in terms of aggression and control. Hayward. And the trend they love to continue right through. He's undersized for four as well. But uh, so quick and so agile. Well, the defense just hasn't pressed up to deny any of those looks, guys. I mean, they're hanging back and getting picked apart. The trail starting to their last season. Five and six. First free throw is good. Not get the start of this season. He said, you know, he's all about doing what's best for the team. And so he hits both. And uh, he thinks that he can and have more Utah opportunities and possession. do better things, you know, off the bench. So he said he looks forward to it. Oh, a three ball. Ooh. And both. <laughs> if he would have got that, it dropped out of being crazy. Up one at home. They've been able to get things popping off of broken plays. I think that they'll get things to start working and pick things up. And I think also as well, the Trailblazers were just playing like outrageous defense. I don't really know if they're going to keep that up. And I don't really know if they're going to be able to keep up um, like the pace that they were pushing uh, with Damian Lillard. But yeah, you never know. Um, I, I think Utah is going to walk away with the W here. That's that's my guess. Last a 10 point win for the Utah Jazz, shooting overall 68% from three. If you're the Trailblazers, you can't even be mad at that. Like, to be on the road and to lose by 10 points when your opponent shot 68% from three. You should have lost by 30 points, giving up 68% from three. But you didn't. You only lost by 10 points. Like, that's that's the way the Trailblazers should be looking at this, you know. Um, I mean, <laughs> 21 of 31. It's not even like they took a whole bunch of threes. They just made everything they took, which is crazy. Um, and then on top of that, they, they won the battle of the boards. You know, their bench balled out. They moved the ball well. Um, the Trailblazers really kept themselves in this by forcing a ton of turnovers. They just couldn't really capitalize off the turnovers. Um, and maybe that's that's probably the biggest difference maker right there. Uh, let's take a look at the box score, though. It's going to tell us a better story here. I mean, Clyde had 25 on 11 and 17. Bill had 21 and 12 rebounds and three blocks on 9 of 12. Barry Carroll even had 15 points. But it was Damian Lillard who only had 14 on the night. Yes, he did have 10 assists, but he went 5 of 14. More specifically, 4 of 11 from beyond the arc. So Pete Maravich at the 1 is not a, a defensive liability like he was at the 2. We know this from this from this box score here, right? Um, I mean, look at everyone's numbers. Like they're They're really not horrible percentages and then on top of that people are getting rebounds they're getting assists they're getting steals like since about five steals lawrence had three steals and two blocks like they're they're all doing their part you know you just had randolph go oh five aldridge go one of six but more importantly your star damian lillard go five of 14 on the night um but to have all that happen is still gonna lose 10 points uh by 10 i mean you know, trailblazers you know, they, they can't be mad at that, right? That's got to give them a little bit of confidence of, okay, let's try to work harder to maybe not have Dame feel like he's got to take these shots um, and, and, you know, hope his efficiency increases and then everyone else will get better around him, you know, and, and tighten it up by the end of the season. And they'll, they'll be a force for sure. Meanwhile, though... <laughs> Pete was a perfect five for five from beyond the arc, a perfect 12 for 12 overall. Didn't miss a single shot on the night. You know, when I say that he, the team is better when the ball is in his hands, I truly mean it. <laughs> I mean, this is a guy that was going, uh, you know, five of 17 consistently last season. Now he's going 12 of 12, right? And getting multiple steals. Something he wasn't doing last season as well. 
Um, Gordon Hayward had 17 off the bench, lit it up. You know, Malone, despite a slow, slow start, still had 17 points, racked up a couple blocks. Karolinko went double digits with assists, um, which is crazy from the fourth spot. Dantley still had, went four of eight. John Stockton, yeah, sure, he went three of nine, but he still had eight rebounds from the shooting guard spot at 6-1 and still had seven assists and two steals. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this team is is deadly when Pete Maravich has the ball. And then you had Calaboli only missing one shot on the night. You know, Williams getting eight assists off the, the uh, bench. Simmons getting seven rebounds off the bench is a good sign for their future. Because um, he's inevitably going to end up replacing Carl Malone, who got seven rebounds starting. So, yeah. Uh, if you're the Jazz, really, if you're both these teams... You're both, I think you, you both got to be happy with tonight's result. Obviously, the Jazz more so, but um, you both got to be excited for the future of your franchise. If, if you're a fan, a player, any member of this organization, uh, both of them got to be sad with that result. 